You're this perp back with another video, and let's talk about Villain Saga episode 20. Because, man, I was on the edge of my seat from start to finish. This series is incredible. This is what I wanted out of like a Game of Thrones, you know what I'm saying? Um, but before I get into that, this review, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 800 subs by the end of the year at least you know so that would be that's a goal of mine that i want to accomplish also follow me on twitter at perpminded420 so let's get right into this so it opens up with floki kind of losing his mind not losing his mind but he was kind of worried that you know that the king king uh prince canook is coming back with you know as clad Thorfinn and now he has Thorkel on the side so he's kind of worrisome about that I want to see Floki in action you know I don't think he's a coward by any means you know I think he's probably a very strong warrior that's going to be probably something they're going to set up down the line but man let's talk about Prince Canuck man what a change like Canuck has become one of my favorite characters in just two episodes yo he's definitely up there um you know they're going into Gainsburg they finally have arrived there they're going to Gainsburg pretty much to confront the king and things are really tense because the the king and his men are pretty much his enemies because they try to set him up for failure and get him killed and you know I like the mindset that Canuck has. You know, he's very sharp and vigilant now. He's able to think logically. You know, he even makes mention that, you know, even if I have to be a demon to make change, I'm going to do it. And I'm wondering what kind of king that Canuck is going to be. Is he going to be better than the, the present king that's in power now? I'll get to that very shortly because, you know, Canuck, when we first meet him, he's like a coward. He's always scared of things. And that was kind of annoying. And certain things had to happen for him to kind of snap out of it. Be like, look, I, the king doesn't care if you're alive or dead. So it's like, where well, it doesn't even matter. And that completely has warped his mind. And I love it, man. I'm loving what they're doing with his character. Now, they finally confront the king and we find out how the king actually got into power you know um this was a great standoff by the way too you know he had like at least 20 men in there ready to just just murk canuck asclad and thorfinn um canuck tells thorkel to go you know to the bar and stuff and you know get nice with the people here and whatnot which is smart because Thorkel is a very not he's an unpredictable person so if he was in that room they would have probably all end up dead so it was smart for him to like kind of fall back but he even throw with the king when he's having a dialogue back and forth with Canuck this was amazing man I really like where Canuck is at right now and he even throws shade at Asclad like you're you're probably pretty much a bastard kind which that even had Thorfinn shook like he never seen Asclad this mad and Asclad had to kind of keep his composure and Asclad is just a man of mystery man it's just come to find out that even the king kind of put together like yo Asclad is not your real name so what is really going on with Asclad I hope as time goes on we get little pieces that we could put together in this puzzle to um figure out who he really is where he really comes from um and just that just further proves to how asclad is still my favorite character in this series next to thorfinn you know he's just so mysterious but he's able to carry himself in a matter of like when it's life or death he's able to just play the long game and that's what they're going to pretty much do 
because the king gave him a part of the land you know you could just stay here for the time being or you die right here so Canuke was smart about this you know he is going to play the long game and you know over time when the time is right he's going to take the king out and man this episode was so intense i'm about to go back and rewatch it over and over again because there is just so much going on i can't wait to see where this story goes in the next few episodes i think there's like probably five or six episodes left maybe i don't know of this season but this is turning out to be one of the best series i've watched this year but what do you guys think in the comments below about this episode how do you feel about all the our characters um let me know and i will see y'all next week peace